Good morning, ESM. I'm Elena, and we have a special show for you today. More on this after our top stories. Police pulled a woman from her vehicle in Niagara Falls. The woman was in her 60s. She was described as unresponsive at the time and was taken to an ambulance on shore. The woman was pronounced dead at the scene. In other news, the state is set to give Syracuse $10 million to improve areas south and west of downtown. Under a grant announced Wednesday by Governor Kathy Hochul, Syracuse will receive up to $300,000 in planning funds and will begin a process in developing a revi revisitation plan. Mayor Ben Walsh said the money will be used to improve building facades and storefronts and enhance public infrastructure and affordable housing. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Next week, the 13th through the 17th, the Key Club is selling candy canes to be delivered around the school the days before holiday break. Candy canes will be sold before school and during lunch periods. They are $1 each or $2 or two for 150. Make sure to get your candy canes next week to help support the Key Club. Are you struggling with your math homework? Math homework help is available in the library makerspace area the following days in blocks. On odd days we are there blocks one and four, and on even days blocks one and three. Come down if you have a study hall, make sure you sign into study hall first and then your study hall teacher can give you a green math homework help pass. We are here to help. If you see Miss Davis today, make sure you wish her a happy birthday. We gotta get back at Central Square. Now, I got four ideas, all right? First, Mr. Avellino in an apple suit. Central Square is going to challenge us to a canned food drive? Do they know who they're messing with? We need to get to the core of this problem. And uh, never mind, that wasn't a good one. All right, let's put someone in a canned suit and have them run the halls. Enough with the costumes. All right, this is a great idea. Let's do a Rocky video. I feel like that's been done a thousand times before. All right, dad puns anyone? Come on. Ooh, how about uh, get off your can and bring one in? No dad jokes. Why don't we just steal their cans? How about we try a serious approach? This holiday season, we need your help, ESM, bring in as many cans as possible to give back to your community, not competitively. One in every eight people are food insecure. 30% are children under the age of 18. We have to feed those in need, and it doesn't take any muscle. Bring in an extra food can or cash donation, which, which goes even further. Thank you. Today I'm joined by Christina Geip, an author who received a bachelor's degree in business management and economics from Empire State College. Thank you for joining us today. Yes. And overall, what motivated you to write this book? Um, this book was written to really inspire people to reach for more in life. Um, we all have goals that are important to us or dreams we want to pursue. And we start them, but for some reason we might stop them in life. And it's really important to keep going, so find another way. Yeah. yeah, and I feel like this year, too, with COVID and everything going on, that's really important to do that for everybody. Yeah, and really, those goals are important to us. Those dreams are important to us. So finding the why behind what we want to do in life. Why did we stop? Why do we really want to pursue that is really important, and believing in ourselves and we can do it. Yeah. And how do you think these will help students, the lessons in this book? I think it'll help students as they approach different goals that they want for themselves, uh, dreams in their life, as they pursue going to school, the colleges they want to attend, the majors, and just in general in life, just pursuing the, the goals we set out to do, the things we want to do in our life, the passions we have, and not giving up, finding another way. I think that's definitely important too, not giving up because I feel like that's hard for a lot of people to do when you know you get down. And what feedback have you received from the book? 
the feedback I've received has actually been very positive. People have said it's been inspiring to them. They've taken a lesson in some way, shape, or form from the text. And it's helped them to reevaluate things in their life and really believe in themselves as well. Yeah, that's, I, that's really great, too. Mm -hmm. And if you would like to check the book out and purchase the book, you can pick them up at Wegmans and Amazon. And also, is there any final takeaways or anything you'd like to say? Um, there's also a planner I have available. It's called Four Ways to Make a Change. It's a planner. You don't have to do it alongside the book, but for those who might have planners and organizational skills in that regard, it might really be a great tool to get started. That's awesome. And thank you for joining us yeah. today. I appreciate it. <laughs>